Right, so a half by 101. Matthew, nobody, nobody is going on YouTube and Google Matthew Joseph. It's fine, right? <laughs> so a half by 101, which is 55 point, um, 50.5. So that's the median there. But this is the median um, frequency. And you need to match back that on your graph to your mass or your variable. So from the graph, estimate the median um, mass of the packages. So now we go at 50.5, which will be very, very, very close to 50. So about 50, right? We stay on that 50 mark. And we go and we touch the graph line. And what do we do when this happens? It actually hits on a point itself. One block before, um, one block before, one block before what? What is that one block before? 25. One block before the middle. One block before 25, correct. So that's how much? How much is here? Huh? So we got 50.5, which gives us how much? 24. Well, we just counted the blocks. So we know at the bottom here, one small block represents one. So if it's if it's at this block here, it'll be 21, 22, 23, 24, yeah. Mm -hmm. So 24. 24 is the median mass. Yes, my girl. Right, you also for. So we did a big graph, right? Following the ax, the scale they would have told us, the scales. From the graph, now we have to estimate the median. We know that the median is half or the middle of 100. We use the formula half by n plus one, which gave us 50.5, which is very close to 50. So we connected, touched the graph, and went down at this point. It was one block before 24, 25. Remember, we could find the scales using um, this, the quantity between the two numbers divided by the amount of small blocks, right? So this one was 10 divided by 10. So every small block was one. So we know 21, 22, 23, 24. So we got our answer as 24. And then the probability that a package chosen at random has a mass which is less than 35 kgs, we know that Probability is a fraction, but it's not just 35 over 100. We go to 35 on our graph in the mass, which is right here. We go up to the graph and we go across to find the cumulative frequency or the frequency, which is 80. So 80 and below. So 80, 80 is the frequency for the mass that is less than 35. So we put 80 over 100. If they had said more than 35 at 80, we would have gone up and counted it. And we know that would have given us 10, 20, 20 over 100. So this is just a bonus part. And that's it for this question. So now we're moving on to this question, right? Which says, the cumulative frequency distribution of the volume of petrol needed to fill tanks of 150 different vehicles. No, this is not it. Sorry. Yeah, here. 20 bags of sugar were weighed. The weights to the nearest kg are as follows. So what is happening here is this is, this is grouped data again, right? But they are actually giving us the raw data. 
for us to put in our tally chart, right? So how many weights were between one to 10? We have to count it, three, eight, five. That's three, right? Yeah. How many were between 11 and 20? We have to count it. One, two, three, three again. Four. Four, where is this in? 18. 18, thank you. How many between 21 to 30? One, two, three, four, five. Five? Yeah. And how many between 31 to 40? One, two, three, four, five, six. How many between 41 to 50? One, two. two. So how to know if we're correct at the end? When we add up our number of bags, it must tell us. So we had one, two, three, four, five. It's supposed to be 20, right? Because there are 20 numbers. Yes? So when we add up the number of bags, we should get 20. Three plus four is seven. Seven plus five is 12. 12 plus six is... 18, 18 plus two is 20, so we're correct, yeah? So for the class interval 21 to 30, what is the upper class boundary? 10.5. For the class interval 21 to 30? Oh, 30.5. All right, so remember your upper class boundary is your Upper class limit at 0 0.5, which is give, which will be 30.5. What is the class width? Nine. So how to work out a class width? A class width is the upper class boundary minus your lower class boundary. So that's 10.5 minus 0 0.5, which is? 10. Yeah? All these little things we have to remember. Yes, but did it miss it for the class in the 21? Oh, no, that, oh, yeah. Oh, yes. So 20.5 minus, sorry, 30.5. Good observation. I, I just, the width will be the same thing, huh? Because all of them will be the same width, but let's use 30.5 and 20.5. It will still be 10. So that's 30.5 minus 20. 0.5 giving us 10 as our width. What is the class midpoint? How to find the midpoint? Upper class boundary. Didn't we do these things last class? Yes, Miss 10 divided by 2. How to find the midpoint? Upper class boundary, subtract your class boundary divided by two. Is it subtract? Add. So the upper class boundary, add the lower class boundary divided by two, so that is 20.5. Add 30.5 divided by 2, giving us how much? 
26. What? Where you have 26 from? I said 25. Is it, it's 20.5 20. 20. at 30.5 is 51. 51 divided by 2 is 25.5. All is well. So now we're coming across here because we got to draw. We got to draw. We got to draw. Hopefully it's the same scale. Two. Two to ten on the... You all see this question? This question is so similar to the other question. Same scale as well. Two to 10 on the X and one to, no, nah, one to one. Come on now, big up. Come on, switch up on me. One to one. So this will, instead of being one to 100, it would just be going to 10. Yeah, so we have one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right. And uh, what are they telling us to do? Ooh, a histogram. I like how they give us a little versatility. How to draw a histogram again? Three blocks. The, uh, the blocks. Three blocks. So our blocks will be in the middle, right? So it's going to be 10 is going to be in the middle here, then 20, then 30, 40. We're going up to 50, right? Um, 30, 40, and then 50, right? Yeah. Because every two blocks will be. So 10 is going up, how high, how high? Three. This is actually, what are we plotting? For our group data, how do we plot our histogram for our group data? Where's our next block? From to five. To huh? to five. Five. Next block. What is the six? Next block. Fifty to two. So remember, thank you, Tanisha. Remember that. Remember to use your rulers. Don't have it looking nice and swaying like me. You don't want your buildings to be swaying, all right? Use your rulers to get some nice straight um, bars for your histogram. And just like that, we would have completed another question. Yeah, so it's really about just taking your time, remembering what to plot against what, and of course, using some critical thinking. Even if you can't remember, you could read the question and figure it out, right? 
you know, histograms block, you know, cumulative frequency is the curve, you know, the um, frequency polygon is straight lines between the points. If we look at a question like this, we have group data. Again, we have cumulative frequency. We know how to find a lower class boundary. We know how to find a class width. How many vehicles were recorded between 31 to 40? So if I, 31 to 40, how would I know how much vehicles between 31 to 40? Of the class boundary minus the class boundary. Mm -mm. This is liters. They ask how many. So the question says, sorry, the cumulative frequency distribution of the volume of petrol needed to fill the tanks of 150 different vehicles. So these are the vehicles here. So 24 vehicles could use 11 to 20 up to, then we include 21 to 30. All right, what is the frequency table for this? What's the frequency for 11 to 20? 24. What's the frequency for 21 to 30? 35. Correct. What's the frequency for 31 to 40? 42. What's the frequency for 41 to 50? 28. What's the frequency for 51 to 60? 21. 21. Who's not with me? So remember to find a cumulative frequency, add up the frequency. But if, if you have your cumulative frequency and you're working backwards, you could just subtract it. Because remember, you were adding them, right, Jewel? So remember, your frequency and your cumulative frequency is the same thing to start. And then to get your cumulative, you say 24 plus um, 35, giving you 30, 59. Then 35 plus 42, giving you this. Then, not 35 plus 42, sorry. 49 plus 42. And then 101 plus 28. You with me, Jewel? Right, so in order to work backwards from your cumulative frequency to your frequency, you just subtract this. You just subtract this, 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 this to get the individual frequencies, right? So how many vehicles are recorded in the 31 to 40? 42. 42. You all got that, right? And... A vehicle is chosen at random. What are you going to ask you about? Probability. What is the probability that? This is how the question cuts. I don't even have. Oh. What is the probability that a vehicle? Probability that the volume of petrol needed to fill. Its tank is 50.5. I think, I hope nothing, I think just volume is missed, volume. Right, so how to work out that? More than 50.5, so what do we do? What does more than 50.5 mean? Fifty point five and above. Fifty point five and above. Right. So therefore, we go back up to the graph and we find fifty point five. Where would fifty point five be? Fifty one to sixty. Fifty one to sixty. Yeah, correct. Because the fifty point five is the upper class boundary for here, but it's also the lower class boundary for here. Yeah. So if we want to choose the 50.5, we choose this last one here. So what is that probability that it will fall in the 51 to 60 range here? Because mm -hmm. remember, here is 50.5, right? Those of you who forgot, this is your lower class boundary. So we're taking it from here. What's the probability that it will be between 51 to 60? 
and um, 21 out of 150. Correct, 21 out of 150. Very good. And Byron estimates the median amount of petrol to be 43.5. Explain why Bryden's estimate is incorrect. So how to find the median now? Half and plus one. Which is? A half of 151, giving us how much? Calculators and thing, all right. 75.5. 75.5, so where, is, where would 75.5 fall? Remember, these numbers are your frequency, right? So you're looking for 75.5 in your frequency. Where would that be? Which, where to find 75.5? Would it be in this one? No, because that's up to 24. Would it be in 59? Would it be in the 101? Yes. Correct. Because remember, here stops at 59. So all the numbers from 60 to 101, which 75.5 is in here, right? Yeah? Y'all with, yes, yes. with me? Y'all with me, people? Y'all with me? Matthew, you with me? Uh-huh. Yes. You sure you're with me? You sure the ring light not blocking out anything? You sure? All right, cool. So 75.5 is here. So therefore, the median is going to fall inside of this, right? Yes? Yes, yes. So therefore, can we say that the median will be 43.5? No. So this is why his stuff is incorrect. Everybody see that, right? Everybody understand that? Yes, miss. All right, so statistics questions. You know, it's not too bad. You just have to take your time with it. 